This video is going to cover the basics of NMR processing using Brooker's Topspin software. The first step, if the file is a, a zip file, you'll need to unzip it using a program such as uh, 7-zip. We'll then create the file that we're going to open. We'll then launch Topspin and maximize this program. You may have an Explorer window. Whoops, usually it's smaller, but if you have that, you can click this arrow here. Uh, if you have this window, we're not going to need that. Close it out of the way. Go to the Start tab, open Data Set. We'll then navigate to the location where we had our folder. In this case, it was the Vidic Mix. And you may have multiple folders here. We just have the one. We click on that, click Display, and we have a spectrum. Uh, we've got a lot of area. For example, this area from around 8 on up. There are no peaks, so we can zoom in on this area of interest. To do that, we simply click on one side, drag across to the other side. and When we release, we will be zoomed in. You can zoom in further by repeating. You can back out one step using this back arrow, which will back out just the one. <clears throat> if you want to expand all the way back to the original, this button here does that, undoes all of the zooms that we've done. So zoom back in. You'll notice that a number, actually all of the peaks, dip on one side and then it very slowly comes back down. This is an indication of poor phasing. So we will go to our process tab. The process spectrum button is for Fourier transforming the raw data which has already been done. The next one is to adjust phasing. To correct it, we're going to click on this down arrow, and that brings us to this option here to do automatic phasing. And we want to have both zero and first order phasing done. We click on this button, and it should correct it. If you click in the center of this button, it brings us into a window to do manual phasing. Uh, we don't want that, so we can click this return arrow here, and it will get us out of that. Now, the software will automatically do peak picking and integration. It does not do a very good job of it, so we were, are going to do that ourselves. So we will come to the peak picking, click this button, and it puts us in a mode. We can see now that we have these buttons up here. This one with the little bracket and the X on it allows us to delete all peak picking ranges. We click on that, we get rid of those. This button allows us to define areas that are to uh, be selected for peak picking. So we'll click on that, it is now highlighted. To actually pick a peak, you want to click and drag and notice that we have a box the tips of the peak need to be inside that box. And we can do this then for each set of peaks that we wish to have specific uh, chemical shifts for. Notice if the box does not include tips, nothing will be selected. If we only have the top two peaks, uh, or the tips of those peaks, we only get those two chemical shifts. If we want the lower ones for this quartet as well, we need to draw a box that includes those. And I'm going to grab the next quartet over as well. And you can use the scroll button on your mouse to adjust how big the peaks are. I adjusted that down so I can get the tip of this triplet. I'll get the tip right there beside that. While you're in peak picking mode, you can zoom if you wish. Simply unselect the regions button and then again click and drag and we zoom in on the peaks. And then if we click on the regions button again we then have that selected and we can pick extra peaks that we wish to have the chemical shifts for. And then when we're done we can either click this uh, looks like a little floppy disk for those who remember those things but this will return but also save the changes we made. 
If you click this button, you will exit the uh, integration mode without saving any of the changes you made. It will restore what you had originally before you entered the uh, peak picking. We want to save what we've done. We will also undo our last zoom with this button here. And so we're now back to our original zoomed area. Okay. The next category that we're going to address is the integration. Uh, we will fix that as well. Again, I will start by deleting the integrations that have already been done, since these integrations, for example, include both doublets in a, as a single integration. We have this integral curve with the x through it. This deletes all integrals. So now we can do our integrations. Again, we have our Regions button. We click on this. In this case, we just click and drag on either side. Whatever is inside those two red lines will be integrated. And as we do this for each peak, we have these values being put in. Uh, you can change a value. For example, if we want this doublet to be set to 1, we can right-click on it select Calibrate Current Integral. And when we do that, you'll notice it has a value here, which is the same value that we have here. Changing this will also change these proportionately. So if we set this to 1, the others will be reduced by roughly a fourth, since that's what we've just reduced this by. And these values then go to about a quarter of a uh, hydrogen. Again, we can zoom. If we want to integrate these two quartets separately, we can zoom in on this region, then get back into the uh, Regions button. Then when we click, we can easily integrate those two quartets as individuals. Undo our zoom, and we can continue then to do our other peaks as well. Select the Regions button, we can integrate this triplet. And if you want, you can try integrating this one as well. Although, given that we have this other peak here, we evidently have some impurity, which means this integration is going to be higher uh, than it should be due to that uh, impurity. Again, we can do the same in this region as well. these peaks here, return with our zoom, and again when we're done we can do the uh, save and return button and it keeps the new integrations that we've put in. The final step that we're going to be interested in is to copy our spectrum so that we can put it in our report. Uh, under the publish button we have that option to copy. And you can open a, a Word document. This already has a spectrum in it. We'll delete that. And then we simply paste our new spectrum in. And with that, we can close our program. One thing to note is that when we do so, all of the changes that we've done will be saved. So if we open this again, and then navigate back to that file again. When we open it, all of the changes that we've done are still going to be present. So open data set. Again, we go to the location. Select that folder again. And notice that all of the integrations we've done are present. It did uh, go back out, but again, we can simply zoom in and have our spectrum with all of the changes that we've made. Uh, you'll notice that the spectrum is going down a little bit on top of the integral range. You can fix that by clicking on this hand, click, and then drag. And as we drag up and down, we can move that baseline of our spectrum up so that we don't have that overlap. Uh, since it did change or save everything, if we want to make changes, we can simply go back in. For example, we may have decided there are a few more uh, regions that we want to integrate. For example, we didn't integrate this doublet, or it looks like there's another doublet here. Uh, we could go in 
back to our process, back to integration. And with this unselected, we can uh, zoom in and then integrate this doublet as well. And we can add these to the integrations. And back out. So you don't have to do anything to save the processing changes you've made. And of course, if we've changed that, we would want to copy it again and paste the updated spectrum into our program. And that is the NMR processing in a nutshell.